So Walmart respected my position. They listened. They uh, came back um, to talk to me. But something was underfoot for me, as I uh, disclosed uh, just a minute ago. So for me, integrity is important. I had always focused on hard work and exceeding expectations, and also authentic leadership. I learned long ago the importance of bringing my whole self to work and how important it is to be who I am in every environment. That consistency means something. It challenges me to be honest in all of my interactions, and I'm committed to that as an individual. So here lies a dilemma. While KC was struggling, Walmart is growing, what am I going to do? I jump ship, I go to Walmart, and life really changes. For nine, my first 90 days at Walmart, I work around the clock, practically. And Walmart is a unique environment, so I'm not going to paint a pretty picture for any of you all, because it's retail, it's fast-paced, it's an everyday, low-cost position. Um, funny story I'll share with you, this was the first week at my office. It was a Thursday afternoon. I'm on a conference call, and I hear a vacuum cleaner going. So I step out of my door, and I nicely say, can you stop vacuuming? I'm on a call. And so then I get off the call. They're very nice, but I hear the vacuum cleaner going again down the hall, and I'm thinking, why is this vacuum? I said, so someone must be sick because, you know, they're cleaning up a major spill because they wouldn't do this at 3 o'clock on Thursday. Well, um, this everyday low-cost position means you share a vacuum cleaner and clean up your office, and you scrub the toilets in your office. So I said, well, now this is interesting, because um, I can adjust to a new culture, but you know, vacuuming on a Thursday at 3, that's not in, in my DNA. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so you know, having um, this independent office, you know, we're in Georgia. Um, pulled the group together and said, well, listen, uh, how much do we all make an hour here? So let's think about what we're doing. We're cleaning toilets. I'm on a conference call. You're vacuuming floors. This has got to change. So let's call a cleaning agency. And they're like, we can really do that? I said, yeah, you can, because you know how much you make an hour? And you know how much it costs for you to just vacuum that floor? It's like $60 a month for someone to come clean the office. So, you know, that was part of my transition, but I went home and told my husband that, and he fell out the chair. He was like, yeah, you will change. Yeah, <laughs> things are going to be different. So, so, you know, it is an everyday low-cost position. There was a cultural shift for me that I had to make, um, but then I gained so very much on the other end of this transition. It has been a phenomenal, phenomenal experience for me. So Walmart, um, by far, is... Um, has met me in a lot, of, uh, a lot of different ways. So at this time, um, when I joined the company, I also realized Walmart's support of the community, being one of the largest philanthropists in corporate history, basically due to our size, but also making sure that if we, we may be everyday low cost, but we are not going to hamper our investment in the community. So it's been real interesting um, since joining the company. So four months after this really uh, difficult um, transition into the company, I was asked to step up and take over the $60 billion behemoth of Walmart, the Southeast Operations, which had underperformed for three years, had been oversaturated with real estate, building at least 25 stores per state per year, which is um, a, a huge amount. It's actually growing your square footage at about 12% a year when you know our stores are 200,000 square feet. So, you know, this, this, was, um, this was a huge opportunity. So they took another bet on me and gave me expanded responsibility. And so let's talk about who Walmart is and why this opportunity is so interesting. So Walmart is a $374 billion retailer. So with the slides, you can hold and I'll, I'll let you know when to advance. So Walmart is a $374 billion retailer with 4,100 U.S. stores. There's an additional 3,100 stores in Argentina, Brazil, Canada, China, everything outside the U.S., including our recent JV in India. We have more than $2 million, $2 million associates worldwide, and 85% of American households shop our stores at least once per year. So talking about our growing customer base, right now our customer base is growing. We have affluent shoppers that are trading down. We closed last year with profits climbing to $12.7 billion, while sales jumped to $375 billion. This is at a time when our customers are feeling pressure of the tough economy. 
but our price leadership has become more of our ever presence being in the marketplace. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Walmart is committed to innovation and innovation around inventory management. And for those of you who know, you know, the lovers of, of good retail, that's where we butter our bread. And so our real acceleration of growth has been through the innovation that we've done in the past and the innovation that we continue to invest in. None of the increases that you all have heard about in our results from last year has fallen into our laps. We have fought for every nickel on the carpet. So as other retailers close, we don't get excited about that. We're not excited because you never know who your new competition is. It's less predictable marketplace. Your suppliers cannot readjust their replenishment in enough time to service you. So if you look at our stores right now, we've got empty inventory walls in the electronics area because China cannot figure out how to reestablish their manufacturing based on the closure of Circuit City and the slowing growth in, in that entire category. But as many of you know, Walmart's mission is to save people money so that they can live better. And we're committed to this mission. There are no frills at Walmart at all. And we're also seeing efficiencies that have driven our inventory records to, to all heights. And in addition to that, you're probably experiencing, and I sure hope so in the Nebraska area, a huge shift in your shopping experience. We have been heavily focusing on fast, clean, and friendly, and making sure that you're in and out of our stores in record time. So the success at Walmart actually meets me again in what's important to me. As a whole, Walmart is very close to every working woman and working man in the United States. We're very close to what happens in, in our environment. So Walmart makes a difference every day in, in saving people money so they can live better. And we don't want to be that big behemoth, that big 800-pound gorilla that you talked about. Just to share with you some of the next innovations you'll be hearing about from Walmart to help you understand that we're trying to bring more small companies into the fold. We're considering pharmacy management opportunities for smaller companies that can't afford to extend health care to their employees and when you're as large as we are, scale can be a strategy. So we're inviting smaller companies to be a part of our pharmacy management so that they can then afford to extend health care. And so then we can see the reduction of health care costs in the United States. That's the company I work for. And let's not forget about the contributions to the sustainable environment and how effective we've been there. So, so this is not a commercial for, for Walmart, but it is to say that when we see this transformation taking place around us, it's time for us to first put the mirror up to ourselves, and second, be open-minded and optimistic about the opportunities. I would have never thought that my chemistry degree would land me in retail, and the retailer would be Walmart. 